So you want to be a real estate agent. Well, that's pretty awesome. It can be a really good job and very lucrative if you're good at it. In this video, I want to go over with you what to expect, what you're getting yourself in for, and how to know if this is a good fit for you. Many people get into this industry and they find out that it's not exactly what they thought. In fact, there's an 80% fail rate for real estate agents in general. Now don't let that deter you because a lot of those people never really took this job seriously when they got in. I love being a real estate agent. I'm growing my real estate team and I want to help other people who have a passion about real estate make money not just from buying it but also from selling it. Number one, it is a sales position. Real estate agents perform many duties. We show homes, meet with clients, explain contracts, give advice, research properties on areas, run comparables, and about a thousand other things. Real estate agents do a lot, and many of those duties can be fun, exciting, and rewarding. This draws a lot of prospective agents into the profession and is a powerful attraction to the industry. While all this is true, the fact is, real estate agent is a sales profession. Beneath all the fun and glamour is a lot of hard work. Agents make phone calls, arrange meetings, hold open houses, knock on doors, start random conversations with strangers, and a lot of other less than glamorous activities to find clients. When a client is found, agents spend a lot of time making contact with them to keep them. There's a massive amount of energy spent developing relationships, pouring into people, giving value away for free, and trying to stay top of mind with these people. All this happens and many clients won't use the agent anyway, and they won't feel bad about it. Real estate can be an awesome profession, but you need to understand it is work. If you don't like people, don't like talking to people, don't like being social or engaging, or don't enjoy putting yourself out there, you won't like real estate. The most successful agents are those who are constantly engaging with their sphere of influence and growing the database of people they know who they will be communicating with. On the David Green team, we teach you how to organize your database and systematically stay in touch with them. But it's up to you to actually do that. There's no way around it. Real estate is a sales position. You are becoming a salesperson and you will need to develop sales skills, sales habits, and a sales mindset. If that isn't what you had in mind, you should consider a different position such as a growth partner or a showing assistant instead. It's a fiduciary position is number two. Fiduciary is basically a fancy legal term that means you have to act in your client's best interest. This means that while success in real estate depends on your sales skills, the license portion of the occupation requires you to think less about yourself and your needs and more about your clients. This can be contradicting at times and requires you to develop sharp and clever ways to maintain business while also performing your fiduciary duties. This is accomplished through scripts and script practice. Scripts are basic responses to commonly occurring scenarios, commonly asked questions like, is now the right time to buy? How much money should I put down? And what is the market going to do in the future are all questions that need to be navigated carefully and with the right scripts. On the David Green team, we practice these scripts as well as how to handle different objections from different clients. If you work on my team, you will spend a significant amount of time practicing these and be expected to excel in this area. If you don't work on my team and don't practice these, you'll find your job will be exceptionally harder. If you want to get into real estate, understand you are also a fiduciary and held to a higher standard of conduct legally, ethically, and by several licensing boards. Number three is you don't get paid unless you close. In my experience, people understand you don't get paid unless you close, but it doesn't always sink in. Many people complain that real estate agent commissions are too high, but yet they don't take into consideration how much work we do we never get paid for. The fact is, the vast majority of the work you do will never be compensated. Because of this, you'll need to learn to develop ways to stick up for yourself and take control of relationships without appearing pushy, greedy, or selfish. This can be a delicate line to walk and many agents never figure it out. Closing deals is an absolute must if you want to succeed in real estate. This means you are constantly looking for new clients and staying in touch with those you've already met. If you don't close deals, all your work is for nothing. Very few, if any, of your potential clients will feel bad for wasting your time, money, or gas if they don't close on a deal. You will frequently hear, that's your job, even though they aren't paying you for it. If you're going to get into this industry, you need to understand if you don't close deals, you won't last long. Real estate is a contact sport, is number four. Real estate agents are successful only if they stay in contact with a lot of people. Secret agents don't make any money. 
If you want to get into real estate, understand the number one thing most important that you can do is to be spending time contacting other human beings and indirectly or directly asking for business. It's okay if you are shy, reserved, or antisocial. Believe it or not, I was all those things. It's not okay if you use that as an excuse to not contact people. I'm letting you know right now, nobody cares about your excuses or your personal preference. If you don't want to stay in contact with people, don't become a real estate agent. Top producing agents are well connected, well respected, and thought of often. They stay in contact with people better than their competition. Your clients, in general, will not be loyal to you, and that's number five. I've seen this happen too many times, not to mention it now. Our clients expect us to be loyal to them, but they are not often loyal to us. The vast majority of people you meet will be nice, kind, and thoughtful, yet have zero problem taking your time, resources, and energy, and then using a different agent who did a better job of forcing them to commit. This is not a you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours profession. If you want to make money, you must learn to clearly and efficiently communicate your value, take control of the relationship, and get the appropriate paperwork signed to protect yourself. Do not rely on clients, especially those you've just met, to be loyal to you or care about the work you've done for them. Real estate is a business and you have to run it like a business and act like a business person. Don't blindly expect people to be loyal to you just because. They won't be. You're not entitled to anything. Many people understand this concept, but it doesn't sink in emotionally. That's why I want to address it now. You are not and never will be entitled to anything in this business. With that being said, you need to understand that everything you get, you will work for. You are not entitled to get your friend's business. You are not entitled to your family's business. You are not entitled to represent a client just because they wrote one offer on a home with you previously. You are not entitled to leads from anyone else and so on. Understanding you aren't entitled to anything will help create the mindset that you need to be successful. You deserve what you have earned and negotiated for yourself. And that is all. Last is this is a high risk, high reward profession. Real estate tends to attract some of the brightest minds and talented salespeople because your commissions are so high compared to other industries. This makes real estate sales a high reward profession. This also means there's a lot of competition. The amount of realtors that exist makes this a high risk profession. If you don't close deals, you don't get paid. The good news is that although there are a lot of realtors out there, there are very few good ones. If you can become a trusted, respected, likable source of information for real estate, you can make a very good living in this profession. My best advice to you is to develop a competitive spirit. You never want to get complacent or entitled in this industry. If you do, your competition will take the business that you thought was yours. Real estate sales is a high risk and high reward business. Don't get involved if you don't have an appetite for that kind of environment. Remember, HGTV is not an accurate portrayal. While this may sound funny or make you smile, it still bears repeating. Networks like HGTV are designed for the viewer. They focus on the aesthetic and emotionally gratifying aspects of real estate and not on the hard work, rejection, or disappointing aspects of the profession. Many realtors don't last long because they arrive with expectations that being a realtor would look like the way it does on TV. It doesn't. TV shows don't show agents making hundreds of contacts a week, working nights and weekends, and sacrificing personal and family time. If you are attracted to real estate sales because of HGTV, do yourself a favor and visit an office to see what top producing realtors are actually doing all day. If you still like what you see, consider moving forward. You are always working, but you're never working. Remember that too. This is a concept that can be hard to understand, but it does sum up what a real estate agent's life is like. As an agent, you're never really working. You don't punch a clock, don't get paid for just being somewhere, and don't always have clearly defined tasks. You're often responsible for creating and sticking to your own plan. Real estate sales is an entrepreneurial venture. You aren't required to be in one place, you do have flexibility, and you can leverage out any part of the job you don't enjoy or aren't good at to someone else. Going to dinner with clients or arranging a Tupperware party can be considered working if you meet clients there. So can many other social activities. On the other hand, you're always working. Agents don't get to clock out and be done for the day. When a deal needs to be negotiated or a fire needs to be put out, agents have to handle it regardless of the time of day. You will have to step out of movies when a lead calls or excuse yourself from dinner when time sensitive issues arise. Your clients are expecting you to get them results and you don't get paid unless you do. For this reason, you're always working. Agents are constantly on the lookout for their next lead, next client, or next deal. 
It starts off with you pushing this ball up a hill. Eventually, you're chasing that ball down the hill. When you first begin your career, it can be exhausting. You will usually go several months before closing anything. Your days will be spent constantly lead generating, looking for business, developing relationships, and letting people know you're looking for referrals. It can feel like pushing this very heavy ball up a cliff. Lots of work and slow progress with burning muscles and a need to keep a healthy, positive attitude. At a certain point in your career, you will crest that hill and the ball will start rolling downwards on its own. If you've done a good enough job, the ball will be rolling so fast you'll have to run to keep up. This is when your phone is constantly ringing with leads and you don't have to work so hard for them. At this point, real estate sales becomes more fun and you can focus on the aspects of it you enjoy the most. Keep in mind that for this to happen, you have to be consistent and in it for the long haul. If you are the type who needs instant gratification or is involved in this industry looking for quick cash, you won't be happy. The happiest agents are those who have pushed their ball up the hill and don't have to work as hard. What does this mean? Make sure you're in it for the long haul and expect to have to work very hard in the beginning just to get by. Establish healthy habits in the beginning of your career that will help carry you throughout the rest. I hope you've enjoyed these 10 things to expect when you become a realtor. Real estate sales can be very rewarding, but it's definitely a lot of work. If you'd like more information on how to succeed in real estate, whether it's investing or sales, check out my YouTube channel at David Green Real Estate or follow me on your favorite social media at David Green 24.